So I wanted to talk briefly about which black is best for oil painting. Um, there are different uh, people that have different opinions and depending on what you've used or what you've experienced. And I personally have always used a mixture of ultramarine blue with burn umber to create all my blacks. And I've uh, long ago, I mean, by the time I was painting maybe my fifth or you know seventh painting, I had stopped using uh, any form of black and instead was using the ultramarine burn umber mix. And in fact, the Geneva paint that we make is a mixture of ultramarine pigment and burn umber pigment. It does not have any carbon black in it, any lamp black or Mars black or anything. Um, and one of the reasons that I do that is because black is a single color. In other words, um, when you mix a burn umber um, ultramarine mix to create your black, you can go heavy on the burn umber and you'll get a very warm black. If you go heavy on the, on the ultramarine, you'll get a very cold or, or blue black. And so that always gives you that option depending on what you're painting. Um, if you look at this pair here on this book, and if we zoom way in and look at the bottom of the pair specifically, you'll notice over on the left, the colors or the blacks come out of black and they go into more of a brown type of green. And then over on the right, it tends to be more of a straight up uh, green or maybe even a blue green. Um, and so if I'm coming out of black and I'm using my French ultramarine burn umber uh, mix, which is what the Geneva black is, I can add some more burn umber and go make it go in a warm direction. I can add blue and go in the cold direction. And that is always the way I'm thinking about my blacks. I don't even think about black as a single color. I tend to grab some blue and some brown. And if I want it to be warm, I'm going to be grabbing more burn umber. If I want it to be a cold or blue black, I'm going to grab more blue. Simple as that. And that always gives me that option. And it's not so much the way the black looks itself, but it's, it's going to be more how it mixes with the other colors. So what I mean is, let's go back to this pair. And if you look down here in the bottom, you know, the blacks are the same, whether it's on the left or on the right. But as it comes out on the left, we're going to want a very heavy burn umber mixture. So we're going to start adding burn umber to our black to go into the orange or in the warm direction. On the other hand, over on the right, I'm going to leave out that burn umber and I'm going to move more toward uh, a blue to, in order to get those uh, pure greens. And so I'm always, you know, just kind of naturally shifting one way or the other. And so that's the number one reason, maybe the number one reason that I like the ultramarine burn umber. I and mean, there's another big reason, and that is, you know, the number one black that I think um, artists use is ivory black, which is basically a carbon black. But ivory blacks, um, in fact, all carbon blacks, are very poor underpainting. So in other words, if I'm painting a painting and I paint in an area with ivory black, and then I come in later after it's dried and paint on top of that, that's going to really give you problems. Now, a lot of the modern paint manufacturers may be adding other additives to their paint, and it may not just be carbon black or, or ivory black mixed with linseed oil. They may have other additives in there that will, um, you know, make this less of an issue. But basically, according to Ralph Mayer, and this is, you know, the, the real source, um, you should not ever be painting on top of dried uh, ivory black because you'll get severe cracking. In fact, you can look in a lot of old paintings and it's where they've painted other colors on top of ivory black that you get all that cracking. And that's because ivory black is a very high uh, oil percentage pigment. In other words, it, it, it's a very lightweight pigment and it holds a lot of oil. And that's the last thing you want on the bottom. So I don't want to have to worry about that. When I'm mixing my French ultramarine with my burn umber, that burn umber is going to... Uh, greatly increase, uh, massively increase the drying rate of that black so that it's going to dry like a normal color. In fact, it's going to dry faster than most colors. And that um, makes it um, more uh, suitable to be an underpainting. Which, and, and it's not that you would ever, you know, paint your painting with black paint or even the Geneva, use the Geneva black. You would never do that. I mean, maybe you could, but uh, normally you're going to be painting on stained canvas. But the issue comes and when you're coming in with your second or third layer, or you have a painting that's dried and you want to come in and repaint a part of it and you paint something on top, you're going to have problems with cracking. So that's another reason that I like to avoid ivory black. 
And then probably the third reason, and this is um, maybe less of, a, of an effect, but basically, you know, ivory blacks or even Mars blacks um, are almost like power blacks. It's like, you know, putting soot in your paint. And so it doesn't have an underlying natural color. So when you're, um, it, and this is personal because you can certainly use ivory black in ways that are that, that that this is not an issue, but for me, it's just much easier when I'm using French ultramarine uh, burn umber mix. I can come right out of that color and, and even mix that black into my flesh tones or whatever else, and have full control over whether it's going to be warm or whether it's going to be cold. So one of the reasons that black is so important is because the first steps out of black, whenever you're painting, are so critical. And you can see here in this picture where I've pulled all the colors out of the bottom of this pair and they're all very close to black and they're all dark and that's why your black is so important because it's not you know if you go in there with like an ivory black it's so easy for the for all of those colors to get grayed up and and not have the intensity of color that you see here well thank you guys so much for watching um, if you're interested in taking private classes from me here in austin texas go to drawmixpaint.com and you'll find a link to everything all the information about my private classes okay we'll see you guys in the next one